Hello, I'm Robert Verrill, a teacher at the Insight School of Art, and I'm going to be showing you a simple way to make a watercolour painting. Right, in this session I'm going to show you how to paint a group of flowers. In this case, it's daisies against some quite dark foliage to really give a, a nice contrast, which is important. I'm just going to go in and paint straight away without any drawing. It could be drawn out, but I'm going to avoid that. What I'm going to do is to paint the negative. That means I'm going to paint the dark areas first behind the flowers, which are a whole range of greens. So I've got the colours here that I'm going to be using. Ultramarine, quite a deep bright blue, cobalt blue, cadmium yellow, lemon yellow, some burnt umber which is very dark and gives a nice dark colour when mixed with the ultramarine and um, and at the top here we have some burnt sienna. That will give us hopefully the darker areas in the middle of the flowers. Right, I'm going to paint the negative. So, just looking now at the dark areas, ignoring the flowers, let's mix a green, quite a dark green. I'm using a big brush so I can work quite quickly. Let's take some ultramarine. I need probably more blue than I have yellow because I'm going quite dark and I'll put a bit of, bit of brown in. I think I'll go dark brown to start with. Maybe a little bit more. And just pick up the edges of the, the petal. So I'm painting quite loosely. I'm just looking at the shapes that the petals make at the top. I've got a nice big brush here which means I can get around the shapes of those petals quite nicely. I'm going to keep changing my greens as I go around. Adding different colours in so it doesn't stay the same because there's all kinds of different things going on here around these petals. Okay, let's come around that side, let's get a petal in there, the other side of the petal. Just try to keep the shapes of the petals which obviously come to a point but they're very uh, irregular. So keep the brush lively, keep your marks lively. Keep the shapes of the petals. Keep turning around the edge of your petals. Let's go back up here, let's change my green slightly. A bit of a brighter green. So I'm only working loosely to the picture that I've got in front of me. got a series of petals there which is quite nice. I'm going to go up now and paint the negative on the flower above. Quite a big gap there. Changing the greens again as I go around. Nice bluey green in there. Keeping it exciting. Keeping, if I can, those pointed petals. A bit more water. Don't want to dilute it too much, otherwise we lose the strength of the, the petals, but working our way around. Some petals are sideways on, some are flat on, so we see different shapes. Okay, not too regular because we paint what we see. I'm painting, I'm drawing with the paint really, and I'm just putting the marks on as I see the petals. I'm not actually imagining what it looks like because the real thing is always stranger than what you could imagine. Okay, so I'm leaving the, neg the positive in the middle, I'm painting the negative. And let's get another one in here. I might imagine another one in, in here actually because interesting things are happening here in the middle. I've got an interesting shape, so I want to turn that into a flower in the middle there, which I can do. I can move a flower around if I want to take this one, put it somewhere else. For the centres, I'm going to go to a slightly smaller brush, a flat brush still, and I'm going to use some of my cadmium again, my cadmium yellow. I might need to put a little bit more out there because I've used quite a bit of it. I've put a a little bit more out there, don't need a huge amount. 
I'm going to go in with my centre. But I'm going to add a bit of brown to the bottom to give it a little bit of a rounded dimension. Okay, so as I look at them, they're not circles, they're slightly flatter than that. Okay, and the bottom is slightly darker, so adding a, just a touch of brown in there around the bottom gives a, a rounded look in the center. I can use that brown I've got on my brush now to go up there. The one at the top looks as if it's a bit of an older flower, so it's slightly darker in the middle. Let's put a, li a little bit of darker brown in there. Clean my brown off, go back to the yellow. Finish off the top there. If it merges in, that's fine because we don't have any hard edges and colors much in nature. One merges into another. Let's put a center there and add a bit of brown underneath just to give it a rounded look. Okay, now the last thing I'm going to do is to delineate the petals, that is to paint some shadow where I've got one layer of petal coming over another. If you look closely at the picture you can see here particularly a grey area because the petal casts a shadow and that really brings the petals to life. So for that, a little bit of blue, a little bit of crimson, it'll be slightly purpley, I can add a bit of brown in to turn it back to slight grey. That grey is quite nice. So with that grey, the brownie grey, I'm going to try and make sense of some of these petals. So I'm just picking up the edge of where a petal might, the edge of a petal might be, and painting that as if it's in shadow. Again, follow the edge of the petal down, paint the side of it as if it was overlapping. Let's make sense here of this because I've got two petals very close together there, one would be overlapping. I can change the colour of the shadow as well. Let's look up here, let's see, I think that petal would probably overlap there. So I'm going to put a bit of shadow in there. And so I can work my way around, putting shadows in. If I pick up some of the colours that's already there, that doesn't matter because we get a whole range of tones going on here. I don't want to make it too regular, I don't want to do every petal because that would start to look slightly sort of contrived, so just keeping it really loose. A few marks to give the under patterns, okay? And maybe the last thing would be a few more swishes to bring out a few tops of leaves, oh sorry, petals, to bring out a few, a few tops of petals where there may be a slightly darker, a watercolour painting of a group of flowers.